All right, welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. Really pleased to be joined today by Carol Clip, who's the executive chair of International Lithium. Carol, Lithium's been all over the media the last little bit, all kinds of bullish sentiment, and then we had the report last week. What are your thoughts on the most recent report that claimed that the lithium market was oversupplied for hundreds of years to come? Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for having me today. And uh, as you know, I'm quite active in our social sphere with my blog and everything. And of course, I call this uh, SQM lithium oversupply scare 2.0 okay. because I still remember 1.0, you know. I still remember when we all gathered in Las Vegas, it was the second lithium supply and demand conference and three big boys at the time, one of them is QAM, they were talking, we can supply lithium for 1,000 years. Now, as you know, the first shot across the ball was made in January with report of one Australian bank, I will not go into a lot of details here, when they scared all the market again, oh, now SQM has a new license and maybe they can produce 216,000 uh, 216, tons of lithium uh, carbonate, LSE. To put things into perspective, UBS now estimates that annual demand for lithium will be over 1 million tons for lithium LSE after 2026. And then we can move, of course, to the Morgan Stanley report, which basically just pick up the same story one month ago. And now they scared all the market with additional supply, which still has to materialize of just over 200,000 tons of lithium, or maybe in total half a million tons of lithium. All right, Carol, well, thank you for clearing that up a little bit. It's great to get some color on it. How does that impact international lithium? As all junior mining companies, we had a very healthy correction. I will call it like this because, you know, in investment world, the entry point is everything. Because we always remember the very famous sentence, which is very difficult to implement in the real life. Buy low, sell high. So now a lot of investors who really would like to study this market, they have a great opportunity to enter this market at a much better level. And I can tell you why I am not personally scared, why I am just invested again in international lithium in the latest round of our financing. Because I am not talking about 2% of electric cars being sold worldwide. And we are just closing on that number only now. I'm not talking about 5% or 10%. I am in this business because I know all cars will be electric. And I can talk forever, you will stop me at the right moment, because now, just a few days ago, the High Court in Germany allowed German cities to ban, I call them diesel cars, not diesel, diesel, because we are dying because of them. And now, who in their right mind will be buying any diesel car, because you will never be able to sell it. All cars will be electric, much faster than a lot of people anticipating it. And I'm investing in my big picture when we will have to produce, wait for it, 100 million tons of lithium by 2050. Okay, so, but today, why are investors served, by, served well by investing in international lithium? Because we just approaching the crucial milestones. And thank you, Jeff, you're asking me the very right questions. As you know, we are plugged in into this energy revolution with the largest lithium material producer from China, Genfeng Lithium. And just a couple of weeks ago, uh, at the celebration, at the moment of celebration of Chinese New Year, they announced that they are raising one to 1.5 billion dollars in Hong Kong IPO. Genfeng Lithium is our strategic partner. We have two joint venture. Uh, operations. The most important will be in Mariana Lithium in Argentina. And particularly this year, we just announced that we will spend together, invest in this project another $17 million this year. And we will hit two crucial valuation points, two new very important milestones for all investors. It will be preliminary economic assessment after the July of 2018. And then we hope that we will be able to produce a uh, very interesting and exciting for all of us 
pre-feasibility studies by the end of this year. Great. Well, thank you very much for coming in and talking to us today, and if hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have you back soon and hear how things are progressing. Thank you very much, Jeff. It's my pleasure to meet you here. Thank That's you.